what's going on here. I don't run across this that much, and I have to think about it as I go. Okay, generally all the black wires hook together and all the white wires hook together. And then your light switch controls the box for the power and your power usually is at your light switch. In this case, it's not this way. Remember the wire nuts I took off were black to black, white to white. There was four wires in there because of the light fixtures I had. Well, now that I've pulled out the wires gently out of here, there's another wire nut here. And look at this. There's a black wire here, and this wire happens to be a white wire. Doesn't look white, looks kind of dirty gray. I look up here, and sure enough, it's coming from a cable where it comes with this black wire and the white wire here, and then this black wire connects to this white wire as a cable. So this is where the hot wire power is coming, and then they go down to the light switch and back up. Okay, which, which the quandary is, I just have to think about it when I rewire it. What, what I was hoping to do was pull the wires out of here, rewire them to the light fixtures without having to get up in the ceiling too much to do all this. Now what I have to do is I have to patch this hole. I don't want this here anymore. And so I have to get these wires out of there, figure out which is a hot wire, and which is the main circuit trunk line that comes from the electrical panel or whatever feeds this box. And I know it's not coming from the light switch. Then I have to take this, this junction box out of here. I'm going to have to put a new junction box up in the ceiling with a blank plate on it and run another wire from there to the light switch and then over to the lights and all that. It's going to be a little bit more tricky than I want to really explain to you. I'm going to explain the whole process anyways. For if, in case you're inclined to understand all this. If you're not, you can still run the rest of the project and have maybe a friend of yours hook up the last wire connections for you or something like that. You know? But um, and because in this area of the of the kitchen, I have to get on my belly up in the attic to get over to here. And there's blowing insulation in there. So obviously when I take this out, I don't want to put a junction box just right here up above flipped up the other way because then I have to work on my on my face right in the yeah. in the insulation so and I know the electrical panel is that direction so once I figure it out and then I'll turn the breaker off and I'll do some work up in the attic um, one of these lines is then attached on the side of a joist and there's the ceiling joist right here going that way this one of these wires will go that way towards the electrical panel I have to find that out loosen up the staples and pull this out far enough back that way so I can make up a junction box maybe five or six feet away from this location, seven or eight feet so I can stand up or kneel down or whatever and make my, my uh, connections in a plastic box with a blank plate over it and all that and do it properly up in the attic. Okay? So there were in fact hot wires in this box after all. It just happened to be all the stuff that I've done up to this point. Everything was just like I was explaining to you. No power on any of this stuff here. And because I've undone the wires now and I've got the light switch off, no, nothing works right now. When I take this wire nut off and I test these wires, there's going to either this white and black wire is going to be hot or this black and this hot this wire is going to be hot. It's one or the other. Then I'll know what's happening there. Now, if you don't feel comfortable unscrewing this right now, you can turn the breaker off. You've already designated, I hope, you've designated which, which breaker in your electrical panel is running for these lights. Okay, I've located that so I know which one. I could turn that off right now and unscrew this. Then I could come back and then I can undo this and then go back, turn the breaker back on, test my wires and all that. You know, I could do that or I could unscrew it right now. And it looks like this is a plastic old style wire nut. It doesn't want to come off here. And I don't know if it's going to come off. I'm going to hang on to it tight here and turn it. I don't 
don't know if it's going to come off. There it goes. Okay, now because it's screwed together like that, I know that's going to be hot. Okay, 